Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of What Happened in China. Today we explore the culture and the place. Today we visit a candy fair at Guangzhou. Arriving in the city of Guangzhou, a feeling of anticipation and excitement ran through my body. I heard about the famous food and sweet fair exhibition that was taking place in this vibrant city. And I called way to immerse myself in a world full of flavors and delights. From the moment I see a food in the place, I was greeted by intoxicated aroma that wafted through the air. It was the sweet sense of freshly prepared desserts and sweets it made me to explore was waiting for me inside. Stepping through the gates of the food and the city candy fair, I was greeted with a wonderful display of colors, shapes, and flavors. The exhibitors had carefully arranged their wares, greeting and teasing display that drew visitors like bees to honey. Mountain solution chocolate, barrels overflowing with candies and all shape and size, sunny stock, all delicate pattern, cookies and cakes, all left dazzling and exciting to be my gastronomic journey. Among the multitude of the exhibition and delicatessen stalls, I came across a section dedicated to the history of sweets and dessert in Guangzhou. It was like a trip back in the time through the flavors and tradition that have endured for generations from centuries all received for sweets and made with local ingredients to the artists and techniques using by the pasty chef. This exhibit gave me an appreciation of the region rich culinary heritage. Enthusiastic guides were there to share stories and anecdotes about the evolution of sweets in Guangzhou. I learned about the importance of food in Chinese culture and how sweet and dessert have been integral part of the celebration and festivities for centuries. The diversity of sweets and dessert available at the fair was simple and amazing. From classic mooncakes popular during the Mid-Autumn Festival to elaborate exotic fruit dessert, there was something for every taste and preference. I've been tired out to try some of the most popular local treats like a red bean filled with pastries and sesame and dumplings. Each bite was an explosion of flavors and textures that awakened me, my sense and let me want in more. In addition to the traditional sweet, it's also able to find innovative and creative products that reflect the fusion of tradition and modernity. Dessert made me initial ingredients such as much tea, exotic fruits and edible flowers pushed me to the limits of imagination and demonstrated the creativity and passion for the talent people and talent chef and pastry chef who made and created these sweets. The food and candy fair was not only the celebration of the culinary tradition, but also a window in the future of candy in a section dedicated to innovation I was able to discover the latest trends and technology in the confessional industry. The exhibitor displayed 3D printed products where sweets and dessert took unimaginable shapes and became a deep works of art. I was also surprised to see how technology had been integrated in the candy production, allowing for the creation of higher quality and more efficient products. In addition, the first offer of dolls and live demonstration from the Leading chef and pastry chef who share their techniques and secret to create a unique and surprise delicatis. Delving further in the food at Candy Fur, I had the opportunity to witness the art and skill behind the making of these delights. In one other corner of the compound, several master pastry chefs working skillful to create exquisite masterpieces. Funny trinket carvings on fruits and vegetables to delicate designs of pastries, every detail was testament to dedication and artistry. I approached one of the teachers and was surprised to see how the passion we he talked about his work. He explained to me that each dessert was more than just a mix of ingredients. It was an expression of creativity and love of the food. I was inspired hearing his history as he how he turned a simple ingredient into individual pieces of art. As I continued to explore the fair, I found where not only Chinese sweet and dessert, but also a wide variety of international flavor, French, Japanese, Italian, and more pastry stalls offer a fusion of culinary culture that full to enrich the experience. 
I sample delicately filled French macarons, Japanese mush, and different flavors and Italian pasta with fresh and tasting and ingredients, each by transform me to a different corner of the world and made me appreciate the gastronomic diversity that could be found in one place. One of the most special things about the fair was the opportunity to meet people who are passionate about the confessional and gastronomy in general. During my tour, I struggled with conversation with vendors and visitors, all willing to share the history's experience about this incredible market of the sweet and candies. I met a young pastry chef who started her own dessert business and she told me about her dreams and challenge in the culinary world. I also had the opportunity to talk with some visitors who have come from other city to enjoy the fair and share their favorite dishes. These unexpected encounters enrich my experience and remind me of the power that food has to connect people. As I progressed through the air, I realized that she was learning much more than she expected. I am not learning about the preparation of the sweet and dessert but I also learned about the importance of tradition and innovation in the kitchen. Each exhibitor had their own story to tell and their unique approach to create exceptional products. I also learned about the dedication and hard work to go into the banking industry. Behind each product, there were only hours of work and refinement, which remind me one of the importance of appreciating and valuing culinary art. As the day drew to close, I want to say goodbye to the food, the candy, fur, and, and with a bittersweet feeling. It was incredible and enriching experience that led me left with memories and flavor with last in my memory. As I walk away from the bustle of the fray, I talk about what I have experienced from exquisite flavor to unexpected con contrast. This fair taught me a lot to gastronomy and the passion behind every bite. I was grateful for the opportunity to have this experience and knew that I will take everything to learn to me on my culinary journey. This concluded my day at the Fruit and Candy Fair in Wenyo. It was a day full of flavored color and emotion, an experience that I will always future I left with a hair full of gratitude and a stomach full of delicious memories. Without a doubt, this first had left me with a new appreciation for Chinese cuisine and diversity of the flavors or this country has to offer. I hope you enjoy this unique experience in the Canton uh, when you can defer. We will continue to explore a different location in the next, next following days. Thank you so much and stay tuned. Bye bye.